Yes, I'm here with a very special uh, plant that belongs to the most ancient group of vascular plants, the lycophytes. This is Selaginella wildenoei, and it's from Southeast Asia. And these uh, the lycophytes have some really unusual characteristics that, that separate them from all other plants on land, including the ferns. They're much more ancient even than ferns. And uh, one of those features is they have what are called microfills that are very tiny leaves that only have one central vein. They don't have the branching veins like the other vascular plants. They also um, have a very special way that their roots branch. Their roots only branch at the tip dichotomously, meaning that but they split, and so they, they make a big fan type of structure. They don't produce side branches like all the other, other land plants. And uh, they also have very unusual, uh, the spermatozoa, the, the, the sperm cells, only have a couple of flagella, which is more reminiscent of the mosses, whereas fern spermatozoa have, have many flagella. And, um, but they do a lot of interesting things. Uh, this um, species, Selaginella wildenoei, is iridescent. And um, it has some blue in its, in its leaves. But the blue is actually not due to a pigment. It isn't something, if you ground up the leaves, you'd see no blue. It's actually due to what's called thin film interference, an interesting physical phenomenon that was actually studied by a professor here in South Florida a number of years ago. So. It, uh, and we still don't know what its purpose is. It seems to be to help a lot of plants in the rainforest understory um, tolerate probably light flex from the canopy. And uh, so it's got some interesting adaptations and it's a very good successful plant in, in rainforest settings, but it's a member of a very, very ancient group of plants.